This will be a short video about screencasts in Ubuntu and Linux. And Linux is good because we don't want to support evil companies like Microsoft and Apple and stuff like that. So we use Linux on a PC or whatever. So um, that's pretty cool. And uh, just to uh, note, um, I'm using Ubuntu or Ubuntu um, version 14.04. It's the codename Trusty, FFmpeg for, for, for this. And it's running down here, as you can see. It's recording, so that's pretty cool. The thing is, I wanted to find out how to record the, my desktop and the, the, the screen at the same time. So in a quite easy way. So I found a lot of stuff that people are trying to do that and found that many are using FFmpeg to to do that and and this uh, guide I will put the links in the description and I found that this is pretty cool because they found a way to make it as the the the, the webcam as an overlay well, with this command so um but then uh, I didn't even try it out because I found something new. Um, these documents are quite old. Um, so, um, but what the cool thing about this, you should actually read this ubuntuguide.org wiki screencast. It's pretty nice. You will learn all about FFmpeg, how it works and what the commands do. So I won't bore you with that. But the cool thing is that I like the suggestion for adding a webcam to the screencast is to, to use one of these applications. Um, we can start with the XAWTV because it's he says that this is uh, his favorite webcam display for screencasts. Um, and you can just click on X to the window bar, blah, 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 advanced snowboard or ticked. Yes. So let's try that out. XAWTV and run that so and i press okay here now we can see my 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 face oh yeah so that's good and it's they said you should press x x oh, i don't know x oh. doesn't matter i can move around what if i resize oh when i resize it disappears and actually i can see my little um green dot for my uh, webcam is blinking so I'm not not sure what's going on um, what if I mo yeah maximize doesn't work so I can't really use um, XAWTV for 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 that purpose uh, let's try another thing maybe I can just I'll just kill this and then try again XAWTV and run it again press OK what if I it's uh, no, I I can't recommend something that just breaks when I resize it or, or, or something. So then we can try Camoso, Camoso, which I also have installed. And have in mind that all these applications should run in uh, Ubuntu. Or this is um, Kubuntu because I use KDE instead of GNOME as the front end. So let's try Camoso. You can have come over here, and then we can try to change the size, and you can put it anywhere you want. So you can right-click here and say what I used to say: roots is keep it above others, and you can just say more actions and no border. So and then just move it where you want. So this is pretty cool because you can um, you only have these black borders that you don't want in the video and the only thing is when you remove the borders you can't activate them again I, do, I haven't learned to how to do that you I'll need to close the application down and then just yeah start it up again and move it around but it's, it's pretty cool it's uh, on the right hand side and you can you can still see the desktop while I'm there, so that's pretty cool. Um, Camoso is, is great, but the cool thing is, 
kill that. Let's try cheese. It's a strange name, I think, because you say you, you want to say um, you want to say cheese when you're um, yeah. And you can, as you can see, I've been playing a bit around with the yeah yeah. It's like plant sugar, or I'm I always wanted to become a plant. I don't know, my my fingers are also green, so that's pretty cool. And is is, is my neck also green? Uh, look at look there. Yeah, it's green. Oh, so I've been totally green. And uh, I wanted to be become a plant, and now I can do photosynthesis. So that's pretty cool. And this effect is actually called Hulk. You can have uh, different effects. You can flip historical morph kung fu. The kung fu is pretty cool. Yeah, you can just like, oh, I'm a ninja. I'm a I'm a I'm a vegan ninja. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, and you can also have a different effect. It's an edge effect. Yeah, I'm on the edge. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. And yeah, yeah, you can see wrinkles. It's it's a wrinkle detector. Oh, I have wrinkles. I have no wrinkles. I have wrinkles. I have no wrinkles. So that's pretty cool. Mm, but I like the whole thing. I like uh, being green. So let's let's see that you want more actions. I want to keep above others, and I want to. I just want to resize it a bit. That's cool. Like this. And then I want to... I want to no border. The only bad thing about this is that it states cheese here. But the cool thing is uh, that maybe we will be able to uh, do something cool here. Preferences, foot resolution. Hmm, huh, countdown, no. So, there's no border, but there's a little cheese here. So, I like the green stuff, so I'll just keep it here. And that's just about it, because now you can just start your... your FF MPEG to start recording, and it will just become very nice. There are multiple options to, to, to do that. You can uh, do change in the frames and stuff like that, so it's uh, it should shouldn't be a problem. And also, you can grab the the sound from your microphone or multiple microphones or whatever. You can also grab the sound from from what's going on on the computer. So um, it's an amazing tool and it's pretty easy. So the thing I'm using here, I'll just find it here. I'll just flip it up, photo, whole plants, and I am on the screen, screen folder, no, 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 I need to go into plant sugar, because I'm actually plant sugar, yes, and we need to have the screen, it's here, and I have created a, a bash script, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll just try to open it here, and maybe just yeah, it's uh, FFmpeg. I want the sound from two channels. Uh, I'll use X11 Grab with the frame rate of 30, and my screen resolution is here. You can actually change that to be a, a common generic thing if you use Linux. But FFmpeg is actually also for evil Windows and maybe also for evil Mac. I don't know. Apple product are evil. So. Everybody else is supporting so evil things. Why well, I'm so good, I'm planned and using Linux, that's good. And I have a video codec with Libex 264 is the pretty cool and pretty fast, so I'm using ultra fast thing and to output it to an output to the AVI. So the video and it's pretty cool. I'll just post this in the in the description box too and that's all about it. It's it's pretty easy and yeah, I'll I think I'll make some more videos with this because this is this should this is so easy to to work with. Oh my god, and you can and you and you're even green. Thumbs up for that, man. Oh, and when you when you when you want to end this, I'm not sure if you have any any uh, options to do that with a command or something? Something. Yeah, you you, you press Q for stop, 
And what I would like to know also is if there are any other types of, and yeah, and, and the, the cool thing should be now, if I could resize this, uh, I want to resize, no, I'll just move me up here then. The cool thing would be, uh, I would like to know how others do this. Do you use uh, Linux or do you use your uh, fancy program you have bought with your money or do you use free, 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 uh, this is free as in free banana. So um, do you, um, how do you do this? Is it easier on, on your Mac or your Windows machine to do this with your fancy program or what what do you think? What what is your experience with with screencasting with the both the background screen and the webcam on at the same time? And I will just press Q here and then you'll disappear.